I wanted to find an apartment in the center of Paris um, with a lot of light and also a spacious living room. The apartment is located in the Pigalle district in the heart of Paris, not far from Le Moulin Rouge and the Sacre Coeur Church. I am a big fan of movies and music from the 70s, so I get my influences from there and also from the building itself where you still find some 70s elements like wooden panels or other materials like that. I am Jean-Melo Leclerc, founder of JMLC Studio and I'm living here with my partner Victor. The building is built on the previous Baltabarin site that was a famous cabaret in Paris. On the lower floor, there is music stores and a supermarket, and the upper levels are residential. My idea for this apartment was to use a 70s palette of color and materials. I wanted to create a space that is easy to live in a contemporary way. I also wanted to find a place where when I come back home, I'm in a hotel-like bedroom and bathroom. The apartment was in a miserable condition uh, and hasn't been renovated since the 90s. Before, there was a bedroom, a bathroom, a spacious entrance and a kitchen that was closed off. I opened the kitchen on the living room so that I can have 30 square meters living room. I also opened the entrance. I resized of the bedroom so that I can fit a bathtub in the bathroom and created a separation between the bedroom and the living room with a new laundry area. The entrance is now a small area marked by a wooden ceiling that integrates a concrete beam that was already here. And on your left, you've got the yellow area where you could leave your bags and clothes when you enter the flat. A few steps from the entrance is the kitchen, dining and living room, as well as the terrace. There is a storage closet with stainless steel doors at the end of the hall, which contains the laundry. There is a washing machine, an ironing table in here, as well as some household items. The sides of the closet as floor-to-ceiling mirrors, which help to extend the space by reflecting the surrounding area. At the start of the living area, there is a credenza, which holds our books and our record player. And on the right is our dining table, which is the baguette table with its slate top from the Bruleg brothers. The main living area is a really relaxing space. We love lounging around here, reading books and hanging out with friends. There is a green to-go sofa surrounded by pieces from our favorite designers. We actually straighten the wall behind the to-go sofa so that the room is more symmetrical and the to-go can sit parallel to the kitchen. On the wall by the dining table are two stainless steel doors that hide a retractable desk from when we work from home. This has been mounted in a new tiled rounded wall, which makes the wall straight. The tiles are reminiscent of the swimming pool tiles from the 70s. The vertical retro tiles help to bring more height to the apartment. We replaced the previous plastic floors with a beige polished concrete in the entrance, kitchen and living area. Using the same floor in those three areas makes the apartment feel more spacious. The kitchen is divided in two parts. The first one is along the wall and the second one is the island in the middle of the room. The part along the wall is made from floor to ceiling wooden cabinets. It hides most of the appliances like a fridge, microwave, dishwasher and a large coffee machine. In the middle there is an opening for a built-in sink. I chose to use a mirror backsplash so that you have the impression of more depth in this area. 
Next to the window, I created more storage and also created a panel that hides an old bin chute and the building pipes. The rest of the functions are in the kitchen island. It has a ceramic bench top, which is great for longevity and is super easy to clean. There is an oven, an induction hub, which is flush mounted to the bench top. It has a range hood integrated into the middle of it, which really saves a lot of space. The entrance to the terrace is by the living room. There is a built-in bench where we often have our morning coffees in the sun and also a summer kitchen to prepare good roasted meals. Mediterranean touches with the orange stripes perfectly matching the blue-purple building elements. All the plants are lighted at night to create a peaceful environment with nothing disturbing the view. From the terrace, you have a very good open view on the Pigalle Street and we like to sit down, relax and watch what is happening below. We wanted to have a bedroom that feels like a hotel suite. The orange carpet is a reference to the previous carpet that was on the floor prior to renovation. The headboard tapers to the corner of the room to square off the diagonal wall, similar to what we did in the living room. We integrated a bedside light and a small niche for books. The stripes on the wall help to make the room look taller. The storage under the window are IKEA kitchen cabinets. A marble top was added to give it a hotel touch. For the beige wardrobe, it was also based off an IKEA kitchen cabinet. We used cutouts for the handles. They were tinted in a walnut finish and are actually ones that are used in boats. We bought them from Brittany, which is where we grew up. The bathroom is a blue dream. It is covered in 10 per 10 light blue tiles, which brings a vintage touch, rounded angles and a marble floor. A bench hides the pipes and brings visual space to this tiny bathroom. Everything is wall mounted and the light is dimmable to bring more quiet and peace when taking a hot bath after a day outside. The shower screen is made with fluted glass. We also created a new narrow window between the bathroom and the bedroom to bring in a bit of natural light. The yellow room has a built-in stainless steel basin and a large mirror. Through another door, there is the toilet. Having the toilet a few steps aside from the entrance was a nod to the 70s. We chose to have a floating toilet to have a less busy look. The room was slightly widened to accommodate for the built-in storage. It hides away the electricity box and some cleaning supplies. When I create a small space, I like to bring all the functionalities of a bigger one. I work on light, circulation and built-in furniture to use every possible square meters. I think it's important to remodel all the apartments so that you can get your inspiration from its history. To me, it was important to buy an apartment that was in the center of Paris to benefit from all the city convenience and to have a lively street below. Say hello to our new Never Too Small Essential Guide to Your Living Room, an easy to follow guide to design and improve your current small living space. This guide contains all you need to transform your small living room into a space you will love to spend time in. And the best part? You don't have to spend a fortune to make your space look amazing. The Never Too Small Essential Guide to Designing Your Living Room is the first in our Essential Guide series. Download your guide and start creating your very own Never Too Small inspired living room today. Thanks for watching, and if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.